Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. I'm the Scent Maven. Welcome back to my channel, Shopping and Scents. So let's take a deep breath together in and up. It's a hot July day. And today I'm going to show you my pocket back haul. And because that's going to be too short and I should have put it with my other Bath and Body Works video. I'm also going to do an empties because these empties are getting on my nerves. They are in the way and I have my trusty trash can right here to throw out the empties and things that have gone bad. So let's start off with the pocket back. So I they lured me in. I picked up the gummy bear pocket back holder for full price. Um, this was $4.95, that's not that bad. Because it was sold out online for a while, and when I saw it in store, I was like, oh, look, it's a gummy bear. So I got this. They don't have it in any other colors. He's just a pink gummy bear. And they have him in um, a see-through backpack. Thank you, Malcolm. They have him in a see-through backpack. Um, but I didn't, you know, it's like a little kid's backpack. I didn't need that. So then I picked up... Uh, Endless C. These were when the pocket backs were a dollar. I should have said that. And select pocket back holders, but not this one. Only like the dinky ones that are normally two dollars. So endless C. I mean, it smells like the ocean. It doesn't have any scents on it. So I picked up one endless C. I picked up one pear vanilla. smell the vanilla more than the pear. So there's that. Then I picked up strawberry pound cake. I, I, you know, I can't help but love this scent. Even though, you know, it's going to become like the Japanese cherry blossom of Bath and Body Works. It's everywhere. But how can you not love strawberry pound cake? It's just a classic now, anyway. And then I picked up two of these, which I don't really smell them. People rave about these, and I thought, okay, I'll get them. But I don't really smell anything. So this is the, uh, whoa, this is the pink bubblegum. So two of the pink bubblegum. I guess it smells like bubblegum. So I got five pocket backs all together and the little gummy bear holder. So the sale wasn't really good because they're normally, how much are they normally? Nobody buys them at the normal price, right? They buy them, how much are, How much is the sale price? It's $1.95. So what is it usually? Five for eight? Five for eight? Something like that. So if you get five for five, then you're saving like $3. I don't know. Uh, all right, so let me go through my empties and the things that I just want to get rid of. Um, so this I actually used, it took me a long time, but I actually used up an entire hand sanitizer. This is Bath & Body Works, Be Wise and Sanitize. I'm gonna miss this on my desk. I'm using Vanilla Bean Noel now. This is a uh, fresh rainfall. So we're gonna say goodbye to Mr. Owl. Then I missed this already. The mane and tail detangler. I have to order another one. I love this stuff. It's my favorite, favorite. Then this was, this has a little left in it. I'm done with this. I had, I mean, it was okay, but it has the picture in the background. This is poolside coconut colada. I, I just, you know, after a while, the pineapple and the coconut, you know, I just, it's, it's enough. Then I finished a whole jar of CVS vitamin C 250 milligram gummies. That's a, always a repurchase for me. I'm getting rid of this because I just, I used as much as I could use and now I'm tired of it. It kind of has like a citrusy smell to it. I'm done with this. I'm over it. This is the, what did, where did I buy this? 
I got this in TJ Maxx for $4.99. This is Hambvana, number one hemp brand as seen on TV. Rich uh, herbal extract moisturizer, dramatic skin hydration and nourishment. Uh, enriched with cannabis seed extract. I don't know. It's supposed to be so amazing. I don't see what was amazing about it. I used a, I used a good amount. I'm just done with it. Though. I'm tired of it. Then this is almost done. I'm, this would be a repurchase for me. This is really good, especially in the summer. I got this in Marshalls for $4.99, which is a lot cheaper than they sell it for in CVS uh, or Walgreens. This is a Neutrogena Hydra Boost. Uh, it's Express Hydrating Body Spray inspired by face. So instantly cools and absorbs for radiant looking skin all day. This definitely hydrates your skin. It, you can definitely feel a difference. It definitely makes you feel like um, moist. <laughs> so yeah, the Hydra Boost is really good by Neutrogena. This I'm getting rid of. You know, sometimes you take YouTubers' recommendations and they turn out good. Sometimes you just don't agree with them. So this, no offense to her, but uh, Tina Marie recommended the Jergens Cloud Cream. I used some of it. Uh, I find it greasy. To me, it feels greasy. I, I just, it's, it's too, it's too oily for me. I mean, it smells like baby powder. It's okay. I like the idea that it's called Cloud Cream. You know. It has an okay smell to it. There's nothing magical about it. Like I said, I find it makes my skin feel oily. And I just, it's, it's, mm. it says uh, fast absorbing, no sticky feel, which is not true because it makes me feel sticky. It says dry skin moisturizer. Maybe my skin is not dry enough because it definitely made me feel sticky. Um, I started using the Physician's Formula Powder Palette. Mineral Glow Pearls. It says light skin tones. I think it it looks light on the palette, and then when you when you brush the pearls, it turns a little bit darker. I don't. I think it's too dark for my skin tone. Um, I don't know. We'll see how that turns out. This this one bad, and it's too rough on my skin. And I don't like the scent. It's it's really, it really hardened up into this like sugar glob. So this is the high the honey wildflower bath and body works honey body scrub made with pure honey. This is too abrasive for me. It says made with sugar crystals and honey. It, it's 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 too harsh on my skin and it's a blob now so this has to go this i just finished i loved this i think i'm going to have to toss the the body cream because the body cream smells sour but at least i was able to use the shower gel which was i would say this is one of my favorite favorite scents by bath and body works definitely one of the best ones they ever did uh, I'm glad I still have the spray. This is Summertime Surf, Vanilla Breeze, Sea Salt, Sand, Sunny Coconut. This smells just so, so good. Mm, loved it. Loved it. Loved it. So I highly recommend if they ever bring it back. Summertime Surf. This, I got this for, I had a dry skin at one time and, uh, my doctor recommended this and then I didn't have the dry skin anymore. And then my boyfriend started using it and he finished the whole thing. And this is expensive. This is like $15.99. So I told him I'm not, re I'm not repurchasing this unless it's, you know, for, for me, like if, if my boyfriend wants it, then he can spend the $16 on it because I buy him enough stuff. So this is the Eucerin dry, itchy skin, itch relief, intense, calming lotion, up to 12 hours of itch relief, immediately relieves calm, dry, itchy skin. So the thing is, it says menthol external analgesic lotion, soothing, cooling effect, ceramide enriched. And you know, my boyfriend, he's got good skin. His skin is not dry, 
but uh, for some reason he really liked this he said it was so moisturizing to his skin he liked it better than any of the other lotions even the the body cream from bath and body Works. so he used this up this i have to toss because it went sour i hate to toss it i'm gonna try it again it doesn't smell sour in the tube but it definitely smells sour on my skin so it has to go so i'm gonna get rid of hello beautiful they're redoing the packaging anyway and i think i have this in the spray maybe or some other form it's a really pretty packaging i didn't use it fast enough and it didn't turn yellow or anything it's still white but it smells sour see it looks fine it looks fine i'm gonna try it again but it smells sour. It has this odd sour smell to it. No, I can't wear it. It's sour. So then I finished a strawberry pound cake soap. This is really good. Definitely a repurchase. I think I did repurchase it. This, the pump stopped working. It got all jammed up and disgusting. So I'm getting rid of this. I Heart Revolution Fixing Spray in Green Tea. This was only $2.99. And I know why. This is a repurchase for me. Actually, no, I usually get the, the unscented. This is aloe. I usually get the, the, the one without the aloe, just like the plain. But this is uh this is when they didn't have the plain. So I use this. I like this product. The dial gentle and clean hypoallergenic body wash. Uh, this is the aloe one. Like I said, I prefer just, if you're going to use it on your delicate areas, you might as well get the one that doesn't have any scent at all. And then I am so ready to get rid of this. I'm so tired of it and it went bad and I still have the spray and then I know it came back out in like a really ugly packaging and my boy, my, my boyfriend, my dog, my dog, my boyfriend. <laughs> is drinking his water right now in the middle of my video. He has to do it. So this is, you can see it turned yellow. Uh, it smells sour. It smells like sour fruit, like a sour pineapple. This is supposed to be lavender breeze, morning dew drops and cozy amber. I don't know. I kind of want to keep it because of the packaging, but I'm kind of sick of it because I know it smells, I know it smells sour. I don't know. I'm on the fence on this. I'm on the fence. I have this thing where I can't get rid of certain things because of the packaging. You know what? I think I'm going to hold on to cloud nine just for a little bit longer. And see if it truly smells sour. Because I think it is, but I want to be absolutely sure. So we'll hold on to cloud nine. Okay, so that's the end of this video. Remember to comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Shopping Incense. I will see you all in a future video. But until then, have a blessed day. And goodbye, everyone out there in YouTube land.